Good morning, folks. Dear Asteroid 2012 DA14, we regret to inform you that your prime time spot on the catwalk has been absolutely hijacked, upstaged, outdone. Wow. I think we're going to have to watch this one more time. This little atmospheric intruder over Russian airspace made it nearly impossible for DA14 to top its performance later today. It lit up the Russian sky, mostly broke apart during descent, I say mostly because windows were blown out, fragments did hit the ground, and 400 people have been injured. That's not really a small event. Yesterday, we caught a minor quake watch based on energetic flux, geomagnetic disturbance, and the coronal hole. Gaia doesn't like to keep us waiting, but 100 minutes later at 1313 UTC, she struck northeast Russia with a 6.9 earthquake. It has since been downgraded from original magnitude, but even still, unquestionably a significant seismic event. NOAA's State of the Climate Report is out for January. As always, I'll leave you the link to check out the details at your convenience. A lot of good graphics this month. You'll be busy. Had a gamma burst last night. Came from near the celestial equator out of the Ares constellation, just as the new day began UTC, about 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time last night in the United States. Yesterday I showed you solar wind speed increasing in the beginning of geomagnetic instability. Well, this is full disturbance and space weather induced electrical currents in the ground. Fluxgate is tipped further south, 11 to 1300 UTC. Plasma was penetrating around that same time. Planetary induction was strongest, 10 to 1400 UTC. The eastern limb umbral field was dancing that whole time and the coronal opening couldn't decide if it wanted to be big or small. Around 1300, auroral activity exploded over England, another sign that ground currents were being induced. And forgive me for how I have to present this, but as a matter of stating fact, this website contains graphs marked not for publication, but which show significant geomagnetic changes in the 1300 hour UTC yesterday. The connection at which I have been hinting for a few seconds is that induced ground currents in the high north latitude simultaneously with the Russian quake reminds one of the recent electroquake studies released by scientists in the last few months. Sunspot count is quite low, got a newcomer nearer the equator than most active regions yet this cycle, we'll get a look at her magnetics tomorrow. I was pretty sure a perfectly earth facing filament was erupting as I published yesterday's news, but this energetic surface event never got off the ground so to speak leaving the primary eruption threat about 24 to 48 hours away from being a significant CME risk for Earth. Quake watch continues for another 24 to 36 hours, but let's hope for no more. DA14, it'll be tough to top that, but good luck. Eyes open, no fear, at 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.